So welcome back to the Anime and Manga News for the week ending July 6, 2012. Starting with a big announcement, Kodansha has announced there will be a new Sailor Moon anime series starting next year. That's correct, new Sailor Moon. That's about all we know. We do know that Momori, ah, Momohiro Clover Z, the idol group, will be doing the theme song. Um, we do know it's not a movie, it's an actual full-scale production. Uh, anime production. We do not know who is going to be doing it. Uh, uh, rather, we, we do not know who will be doing the, the, the voice acting. Um, uh, now, they did have Kotono Mitsuishi and Toro Furuya, the voices of Usagi and Tuxedo Mask, there at the event, but they did not announce that they would actually be doing it. Someone caught up with Mitsuishi said, you know, will you be in the, in the anime? And she said, um, well, I'm sorry, she, she mused aloud whether she would be in it or not, and she said she is eager to play a role in it. So it's not confirmed whether she's going to be in it, don't know yet. Um, who knows? So yes, new Sailor Moon next year. Wow, amazing. I honestly thought that ship had sailed. More power to them, that's cool. Meanwhile, um, another anime series getting a, a, a new series, there's going to be a new Hayate the Combat Butler anime this fall, being done by Manglobe. And they have confirmed this is not a season three. This is a completely new work. It will be a completely new High to the Combat Butler. Why? I don't know. But hey, that's fine. It's, it's, it's a fun series. <coughs> Moving on to some of the announcements from Anime Expo. <coughs> Funimation announced uh, various licenses. The Blood Sea film, more Ikitosin. They licensed Michiko Tohachin as well as Appleseed X3 or Appleseed 13, whatever it is. So it's got Bloodseed the Last Dark, Ikitosin Great Guardians, Ikitosin Extreme Executor, um, Michiko Tohachin and Appleseed X3 or 13, whatever it is. Um, it, will also, it will also simulcast the Aesthetica of a Rogue Hero in Binbogami Ga television anime series. It's also got additional rights, basically streaming and home video and, and such rights, to Arya the Scarlet Ammo, Jormungand, uh, Bloodseed, the original series, and Eureka 7 AO. So they're certainly you know, building up there. So, <coughs> excuse me, good news there. Meanwhile, Sentai Filmworks has announced they have licensed Idolmaster Xenoglossia. If you're familiar with the recent Idolmaster series, this was a series done earlier by Sunrise, who looked at, at Idolmaster and said, you know what this series needs more of? Giant robots. So yes, I'm not kidding. There's tons of mecha in Xenoglossia. Uh, they also licensed Mayu Chiki which is good. Uh, Sentai Filmworks has, that is. So, expect to see those coming out soon. Also coming out not so soon, the Certain Magical, or A Certain Magical Index, the film, has been slated for February 23rd, 2013, over in Japan. So, look for that torrent on uh, February 24th, 2014. Also coming up soon, the third Evangelion film, the official trailer, has now been uh, released. Um, the, I believe it is a, no, it doesn't say how long it is, but it's a full trailer for the film. I haven't gotten a chance to see it yet, so who knows, but hey, that's a good thing. Uh, meanwhile, moving on to some manga news. Remember the Tokyo Youth Ordinance Bill Amendment, that whole manga amendment that was going to crack down on manga and make it so that uh, stuff with racy content wouldn't be sold to anything? Well, a year afterwards, not a single manga was formally restricted by that amendment. Not a one. Um, every single one that was reviewed passed, including some that I've seen some of the images from, and I'm like, that passed? Uh, the only um, uh, effect is that two manga that were going to go into, um, basically, were going to go out of print, um, just went ahead and went out of print. They basically reviewed it and said, yeah, we're not going to re-release these. They can kind of go away. That's fine. Uh, so again, I, I didn't seem to have a huge, terrible negative effect on, on manga. Anyway, uh, one good effect on manga is that, everyone's surprised, there was a Tokyopop panel at Anime Expo. Now, Tokyopop went through all sorts of financial troubles, basically laid off pretty much all of its workforce. But Stu Levy was at Anime Expo, the head of Tokyopop, and he announced that they will be releasing volumes 4 and 5 of Italia Axis Powers, uh, in a, uh, a sort of a co-production with, um, see here, uh, with Right Stuff and Gentosha Comics. 
So basically, they're going to go ahead and finish those up. Um, so yes, um, and, and they said they've, they're, they're planning to partner with Right Stuff to publish a SciComm, English graphic novel series. So apparently, basically, Tokyo Pop will be continuing on using Right Stuff as their sort of publishing arm. So okay, fine, whatever, as long as we keep getting more manga over here. Uh, finally, a couple other uh, little bits of news. Uh, Udon Entertainment has announced they will release an English version of the history of Sonic the Hedgehog. This is a hardback, 300-page retrospective on Sonic throughout uh, uh, throughout time. It, it, it's already hit store shelves in France. Uh, it's it planned to release in hardback here in September for about 50 bucks US. So that's MSRP, so you get it for about 30 uh, let's see here. Two other things. Remember that the whole kerfuffle about the six meter tall Gundam statue that was being made in Japan, where folks said, um, that wasn't actually licensed or anything. Well, that all got worked out. Um, Namco Bandai basically worked with them, uh, and um, the statue will have its own unique color scheme, and Bandai will be selling model kits there. So I think they said, hey, it's a chance for us to sell stuff. Go ahead. Um, as long as we actually do get the licensing, you know, worked out and we make it a legal thing. So we will get, or the, the Chinese at least, will get their Gundam. Uh, for everyone else, you can buy a Haro robot vacuum. Yes, you've seen the Roombas. Well, they have a green Haro style and a red Char style Roomba made up to look like Haro, uh, made by Sharp. And you'll be able to clean your room with... Uh, Haro, I guess. Uh, no word on price, but uh, there will be a voice recognition function, so hey, that, that's pretty cool. And uh, that's basically about all we know. But that's, that's kind of cool and funky. So that's all the news for this week that I could find. There's uh, other licenses announced at Anime Expo. Uh, go, ahead, go ahead and go on to AnimeNewsNetwork.com, which is where I got all these news articles from. So thanks to them for those news uh, clippings. And that's it for this week, so thank you all for watching. See you next week.